Welcome to Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory and a happy new year to all of you. Here we are on Monday the 4th of January 2016. A new year, a new start and everything else like that. I trust you all had a fantastic break. I know I did. Thank you very much for all your kind messages and various things for Happy New Year. Sorry if I haven't managed to get back to all of you, but trust me, my email thing went absolutely ballistic. So it's huge. I've done a few, but hopefully you're going to see this and can answer because obviously I can't answer every single one of them personally because there's just tons and tons of them. I think my email looks like something like 240 because I had a couple of days off to come back to them. So I've sort of done the, all the important ones and working my way through them. But I say, I haven't got back to you. Thank you very much for all your kind wishes and everything else like that. And here's to a fantastic year ahead. So what are we up to at the moment? To be honest, I'm still finishing off the Star Wars bits and pieces. As I said, I had a little bit of a break uh, over Christmas and New Year, so really didn't get everything quite finished off how I wanted to. What I've done is I'm gonna take this week to finish it all, because there's still some great stuff I want to show you. So uh, basically I've been working on the Stormtroopers. This is what I'm filming at the moment. Gonna finish it tomorrow. So for this particular sort of build we're doing, it's a little bit different because we're showing you how to put together the First Order Trooper, uh, and then all the other ones are roughly the same. So the Scout Trooper, the Stormtroopers, all roughly go together in a very similar way. So basically by showing you the first order, how it goes together, then I can show you about weathering and everything else. So down here, we've actually got some stormtroopers at the moment. They're very nice, clean. This guy over here, we're just with a normal blaster. That one is gonna be left clean as if he's on the Death Star, something else like that. But obviously this one down here, which is the sand trooper, is the away team. So he's got the big backpack on, the ammo pouches and everything else like that. And we've got the big blaster here. Technically, what we're gonna do with this one is actually gonna weather him up. So pretty straightforward. He's going to have a flat coat, flatten him down, dead him off and everything else like that. Then we're going to come in with the sand wash uh, and then we're going to go to town with him and really we just weather him up, scuff him up, looking like he has been down there for quite a while, uh, getting dirty and grimy, uh, unlike the other guys. Scout Trooper, very much similar to that one with that one as well. He's going to be quite, you know, scuffed, green, moss, things like that on there because he is in that sort of, you know, jungle or woodland environment and things like that. And then obviously first order one, as you'll see, he's very clean as well he's going to be a spotless version as well very much reminiscent so he can stand next to the the older uh, brother in so or down there being very clean and everything else like that so still time to show you on those also the other thing as well is we've got the x-wing display tie fighters hopefully you saw that just before the tie fighters are all painted and done we did that as a standalone so they're over behind me now we've got two standard tie fighters and darth vader's advanced tie fighter we have an x-wing and we are going to build our trench run now i've done all the casting for it, all the bits and pieces. Still some other bits and chunky bits I'm gonna put in there and everything else to break it up. But basically I'm gonna make the diorama base and show you that this week as well. So definitely something still to see. And then that will finish off our Star Wars thing. I do intend to carry on, but they'll be sort of more on my own time. I'll film and record them and all the bits and pieces, but they're the things I'll do probably of an evening just for me. And then obviously I can show you at a leisure so it doesn't interfere with some of the great builds I have planned coming up for this year. And I have done a little bit of work on that, which we'll speak about in a moment for builds I would like to do. And I think will be really good for you to see and everything else. The other thing I want to do is completely gut the studio. Now I have done a little bit to be honest over Christmas, but this in here, my paints, to be honest, I don't use some of the paints as much as I do others. Some of those down there I don't use at all. So I'm gonna clear all this away, clean it, dust it, and then rebuild this entire area you can see here with more paints that I use pretty much all the time. So what we're basically talking about is Vallejo, Tamiya, uh, and then the guns. Some of the guns as well I'm gonna retire. They're gonna go into the cabinets behind me. And I'm gonna put more of what I use day to day on display because I'm finding now that I'm going to other drawers to get paints out that should be up here, but I haven't got the space. So I think clearing them out as well, we can clear a bit of space. Down here, you're probably off camera it's a bit of a mess I've got the sound mixer and everything else down there we need to get that cleaned out and done and dusted not to mention in my display cabinets I'm gonna have to get some of them put away because we have just run out of general display case room everywhere now uh, and need to get some more out so plans for builds after what well, I had start on Monday for me um, I'm gonna be coming straight in with to be honest it's underneath a big pile I should have cut it already is gonna be the Russian Meng Terminator this is the fire support vehicle uh, with the actual uh, missiles and the uh, guns we've got upgraded guns for this one a couple of other goodies for it so I'm really looking forward to doing that one getting into with a little bit of armor there and then something a little bit different I haven't even done the review for it but I've decided to do it because it's something new and current what I'm gonna do 
here is the 148 scale MiG-21 MF. Now this kit should be pretty good. I've heard good things about it. I haven't even opened the box yet because you know me, I like to do my reviews raw and neat and just go straight into them. But what I want to do with these, to be honest, is use these guys. These are the Vallejo metalizers because we've done one build completely with obviously AK stuff. We loved it, we thought it was brilliant. But just to keep the comparison here and to see what acrylics can do, I want to use acrylics on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick out a very nice nice Russian metal scheme for this one and we're going to completely do this one out of the box but going to use the Vallejo metalizers right the way over it so that would be a nice start for that one so we're going to start on that one next week as well. Up on the site for you today we've actually got the final part of the Y-Wing talking about weathering and all the bits and pieces like that. Bandai's finest kit I've worked on it's an absolute stunning pleasure to work on this one the detail and everything else are absolutely phenomenal and brilliant so definitely one to look out for parts one to three are up already this will be the final part with the final reveal and everything else like that but generally i have loved working on the y-wing i'd love to see him do it in 148 uh, and everything else like that but certainly from my point of view it has been my firm favorite to date so various things gone on in the forum obviously over the Christmas break and we've started and everything else like that first thing up obviously because I haven't covered it yet is the prize draw where is it I did have it here somewhere no but we're done with it it was right here honest uh dick dick de where am I looking I can't seem to see it although it was here <coughs> that will stay there, it probably will fall over in a moment. This is the one actually, I don't know where the other one is. Oh, sorry, it's on, over a pile over there. This is for this particular prize. This was for uh, December's prize draw. Uh, this is obviously the 112th Scout Trooper. Uh, you're gonna see that this week as well, because I've almost finished this one off as well. Okay, so this one is gonna go to, and I drew it earlier to be honest, it went to number 124. This was drawn on the random uh, number generator site, and it's gonna go to Michael uh, Robinson, and he's from Monmouthshire so congratulations Michael you've won this one and there'll be a sticker set and some other goodies I've got lying around here as well going to go off to you so if you contact me via the forum probably the quickest way just PM me with your name and address I'll shoot you one as well probably later on but if I haven't done it yet shoot it to me it'll save a little bit of time and I'll get that one on a courier to you tomorrow okay so definitely well done congratulations hopefully get that one built as I say this is a build for me I've done well I haven't really done a lot to it but I've got Scout Trooper just down in here uh, he's going to go together to be part of the trooper range and I'm going to do his bike because his bike's quite straightforward not a great deal of weathering for me just washes chipping effects and some scuffs and things like that but generally still a very nice display as well so you can get a hold of that one okay so got to speak about the Star Wars SIG has officially finished now we had some great entries into this one we actually had 72 of you finish uh, builds on that one I know a lot of you use the Bandai and everything else and hopefully you agree with me they are absolutely stunning and fantastic well done we had some great entries into this one we're going to be looking at it in depth probably next week when I do the final video for this one I'm going to do the reveal video for it and all the bits and pieces but as I said well done guys fantastic work I know a lot of us were building very similar things and it was nice to see how you tackle things in different ways especially with weathering some of you went down one route others went down another but generally the standard was absolutely fantastic all the way through so congratulations to everybody who took part in that one and thank you for putting up with me because it's my sig and I wanted to do it uh, the other thing as well obviously the big group bill finished as well that's done now so that was the red versus blue we had 86 finish on that one okay I know it's a bit of a rush at the end but we did extend it and extend it there's only so much we can do guys uh, but generally well done to everybody who took part I said 86 finishes on that now I will get the medals uh, organized uh, obviously the sticker sets are going to go out to everybody as well uh, as, and then what we'll do is I'll do the usual thing I'll contact you once it's ready which will be about a week or two when we get everything sorted out for it and then you can send me your name and addresses and I'll get them sent off to everybody as I normally do so we've started the animal uh, group build which obviously is the first six months group build of the year be the first one it's going to run to the 19th of June and this is basically uh, I'm an animal group build okay I know we've had some discrepancies, shall we say, but hopefully we're all on the same page with this one. I think everyone overcomplicated how this is. Basically, it has to be named after an animal or its most common name or nickname, as everyone knows it is. So it can be anything from a car, armor, you know, aircraft, spacecraft, whatever. As long as its primary name and what everybody knows it by 
is an animal, then it's absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got 73 on the go already with that one, which is a fantastic start to it. And as I say, you've got six months, we've got a lot of time on this one. We're gonna be looking at a bit on Fridays when we do the sort of forum catch up, things like that every week. And we'll see some of your great work as we make our way through. So that's our first full group build. Obviously it'd be entitled to medals, sticker sets, badges, all the usual bits and pieces that we're gonna do for that one. So um, get going with that one, guys. Hopefully, because we're trying to make the group builds as wide as we can, uh, uh, to get as many as you to take part because it's what it's all about with the group build okay the next one up from a sig point of view is going to be the armor sig going to be the first armor sig of the year and that's going to start on the 6th of february and it's going to run to the 28th of may so obviously because it's sig they're a bit shorter and that is the dawn of a new age on the battlefield basically it's world war one armor and things like that okay so some great scope in there and i'm hoping i'm going to do that one as well i'm looking down there and i've got the the meng with the interior for the Mark V, uh, which is the male. I'm thinking of doing that one and having it opened up so you can see inside it as much as you can outside it. Uh, so it'll be very reminiscent to something we did um, to some of my other models where we rip them open. This guy, because it's got a full interior, we can do that as well. I don't really do interiors in World War One. In fact, I've never done an interior in a World War One tank. So it's gonna be new to me. Uh, so it'll be new colors, new techniques, various things down in there. And then I hope here I'm gonna be popping along to the uh, Bovington Tank Museum Museum. go and see our Steve over there and I'll get some nice reference shots of it as well uh, and come back so when we start on that one and then next month I'm going to be starting on that because I say I want to put something in to everything okay so every SIG group build I'm going to have an entry into it and I'm going to have a photo entry as well as the video stuff I'm going to take part as well so that's just generally the plan for that one as we work our way through uh, last up I've got down here um, obviously I want to have something taking part in all the time with the group builds and that and as we said so what I've actually got a plan is so far for the first quarter of this month obviously we're going to be doing the Terminator uh, fire support vehicle okay we're going to be doing that one we're going to do that MiG-21 with the Vallejo paints they're going to be my first two builds up but also I'm going to be doing the uh, Revel Shackleton as soon as that one comes out as well because I'm really looking forward to doing that one uh, an animal SIG uh, group build because obviously I want to get involved with that. What I'm going to actually do is the Hasegawa 172nd Osprey. It's the new one. Uh, it should be really, really nice. I think Revel have just reboxed it as well now. So if you want to get it slightly cheaper, you can get the Revel version of it. Okay, straight out of the box as well and do it like that. So we got that one. I think I've got the Revel one coming in for a review shortly as well. So be interesting to see that one. And something on a personal note for me, and I know a lot of you wanted to see it as well, is the doing the Revel Halifax. Okay, I know I've put it off a little bit. It was supposed to be done last year. We didn't get on with it. It's something I want to do and I think it would be look great in our portfolio of videos and weathering and everything else like that so that is definitely something to do so really that's the first three months mapped out for what I want to do and as I say adding that uh, World War One tank which is going to be fully detailed opened up and everything else like that it should be a great start to the year so that's about it for me we got a live show with everybody on tomorrow I think we've got all the guys here in the studio so before of us in here I think we've got Ron Adam Sid's back and myself will be here hopefully Steve will be able to join us as well so he'll be live up from the northern fob and everything else like that i hope you're excited about what we're going to get up to this year we've got loads of great things planned we've got some days out as well coming up hopefully uh, and all things like that as well so we've got lots and lots of interactive things here on flory models to see us all through this year so hopefully you're going to get some great modeling done with us and we hope to see a lot of your work on the forum as well so until tomorrow everybody happy modeling take care